Hello everyone. Today's video I would like to give some advice, some very useful advice to those who are interested in learning a particular language but don't really know where to start. So for someone who has no experience learning foreign languages and would like to learn a particular language swiftly, there are several programs that can be used. The order I intend to go in is just <clears throat> based off of my very own knowledge and the experience I've acquired using these courses. The first course I would like I would like to recommend is the FLR course. Now the reason I feel that FLR would be an ideal course to begin with is because of how it begins the communication process for the learner. Its speed, naturalness, intuitiveness, and lack of grammar study is what makes such process possible. Not only that, the student will most certainly possess all of the necessary tools to be able to engage in a conversation with a native speaker before even completing just the first level of the program. So, um, FLR, there are exactly two levels for this program and the time duration of the entire course is at least six months, I will say. The biggest question here though is who is FLR for and how far will it take me? First of all, I should say that this, this technique program is for anyone. It doesn't really matter what type of learner you are, uh, just provided that the learner is motivated, diligent, and is able to buckle down and put the time in to go through the entire process, obtaining results will be inevitable. If you are someone who's interested in being able to speak a language confidently and effectively with a native speaker from the very beginning of your study, then such approach will suit you. Right from the beginning, FLR prepares you with relevant material that will help you answer any questions thrown at you, especially when meeting a native speaker of that targeted language for the very first time. Now, I should say, uh, any question uh, thrown at the learner will be counterable. <laughs> the learner will not only be able to answer the questions but would also be able to do so in a thorough manner. Now let me give you an example, show you guys some samples here of this um, FLR program. Now, uh, let's see, du -du 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 -du, where am I? Okay, where is my Okay, here we are. So we have, first of all, um, this is the level one for German. So it's, based, it's basically made up of questions and answers. I know many of you already know this, um, know about this program, but there are people who don't know, haven't heard of it. So um, basically it's, it's composed of questions and answers and keywords, okay? So you have all your questions, and, and the way it's put up, the way it's put together here in German is use um, informal and polite, since the language have, has has uh, both forms. So you have your questions, and then you have your answer. All the way down, you have about I'll say between forty and fifty questions and answers. And the audio is included here. And then once you get to the bottom, you have your um, let's see, let's keep scrolling down. Okay, then you have your keyword, <clears throat> your keyword, excuse me. You have all of your keywords. <clears throat> and I pretty much explain on the actual um, instructional DVD what you need to do with these keywords and questions, the questions and answers. Okay, basically you want to incorporate those with them. So that's what the F FLR first level is about. And you have your difficulties with some, with some example sentences to show you how to use them. And you have some idiomatic special expressions. And then finally you have an introduction sample. Just to give you an idea of how you need to be able to introduce yourself and whatnot. Okay, so that's level one. Now, level two. Let's see where 
is. Oh, before I show you level two, there was something else I need to mention. Um, okay, so level two, basically what level two is about is a vocabulary building through eight reading contexts and using that vocabulary to build on top of previously created sentences. The student learns how to create his or her own sentences made up from particular from a particular reading by extracting certain parts to another. And again, I go into more detail on the actual instructional DVD, the instructional video. Um, the technique here is very effective because it, it can be applied to other type of programs, i.e., ICML, Link, Teach Yourself, Spoken World, Colloquial, etc. Okay, so let me show you. Um, let me see, what are we going to do next? I see Mill, Pimsler. Okay. Very effective program. Okay, let's see here. Alrighty. So, level two, where are you? Okay. Oh no, that's not it. Okay, here's level two. This is from. Uh, this is basically from the um, level two of Italian. Yeah, Italian course. Okay. So as you can see, it's basically made up of several readings. You have a total of eight readings here. Right, and these, but all of these readings are bilingual texts. Of course, you need to have instructions on what you need to do with these particular readings. I explain those on the actual video. So I just want to show you guys, give you an idea of what these readings look like. So you have the actual language, the targeted language first, and then you have the English translation. All right, so it's very, very important to watch the actual videos so you can get, so you can know what to do with those readings there. Okay. All right. Let's close that. Okay. So um, another program that's very useful, Pimsleur. I think Pimsleur is an effective audio-based program for a beginner because it, it helps the learner to retain the content and become familiar with the pronunciation, accent, intonation, etc. I believe using this program with FLR is ideal simply because there isn't a script for many of the courses to worry about, and it's very easy to use since all since all the um, since all the learner is required to do is listen. So um, I don't have any samples here to show you for Pimsleur, but it's basically an audio-based program. So you could do a search on that and check that out. Now the next program I would like to talk about is Asimil. After completing Asimil, um, after after completing both levels of FLR, I'm sorry, I will re recommend two other pro approaches next. The first program I would like to talk a bit about is Asimil. For those of you who aren't very familiar with ASIMIL, it's a language learning program pretty much used throughout Europe. These programs tend to be a bit expensive, but due to its approach and, and intuitiveness, I think it's well worth the price. At any rate, after using ASIMIL for a few months already, um, I fully understand its approach. Like FLR, the approach is very natural, uh, without grammar study. Uh, ICML basically teaches you through context and gives you ex gives you um, exercises at the end of each lesson for extra practice with vocabulary used in the readings. If one has went through the whole FLR course, the same method could be applied to both ICML and Link. So let me show you guys um, a sample of ICML if you've never seen it before. So we have it for. Catalan. Now this is in French, but I just want to show you guys the concept of Asimil. Okay, so they go into pronunciation here. 
and let's get straight to the first dialogue now lesson one as you can see it's purely in um, now this is French but if it was an English version it would be entirely in let's say if you let's say if it was um, Japanese okay if it was Japanese the English version they will still have a lot of the material in Japanese the explanations the, the chapter everything okay so it's it's in targeted in targeted language so as you can see you have let's see lesson one and the dialogues here they put numbers there so you have five here and if you go over to the next page you have seven so there are a total of seven lines they will read and the good thing about it is they read slow the first time and then the second time they read at normal speed so when you get to the end of the uh, the dialogue they have some exercises um, they show you let's see they have exercises and they mention some notes cultural notes not much of grammar they don't really go into grammar they, they bring up some important points that you need to remember but the grammar is out since it's a natural um, it's, it's a natural approach Okay, so as you can see, you have your notes down here. You have your beautiful picture. You know, and after, over here at the end of the dialogue, you have more exercises. So they don't have any like fill in the blank exercises. It's just the exercises are basically um, vocabulary, uh, vocabulary that uh, th those vocabulary that were used in the dialogue, and they just kind of switch them around. So by the time you get to this point, you will already be familiar with a lot of the vocabulary because of the uh, dialogues. All right, so that's Asimil. And as you can see, lesson two, same concept, same deal. You have your dialogue. It has seven lines. And then they go into some notes and exercises for you. All right, so there is no grammar study for um, in Asimil. Okay. Let's see. All right. Okay, what's next? Let me close this. Okay, so that's Asimil. All right, Link. Now, likewise, Asimil, the approach, Link's approach is you. Um, I'm sorry. Likewise, Asimil, the approach used that Link pretty much focus. It focuses on learning vocabulary through context. Again, this is an approach that's very intuitive and natural without much grammar study. So I will show you guys a sample here of link. Now I'm going to post, I'm going to post the link in the description area where Steve Kaufman, because this is actually Steve Kaufman's website and approach. I will post the link to the videos you can watch uh, where he goes into more detail. Um, I haven't really used link a whole lot lately, but I'm going to go back to where I left off. So let me go ahead and sign in. This is the front page of link very very good website he, you can get help from a personal tutor make friends they have a uh, a large community and you can join live conversations you have you can create writings and have them corrected by the native speaker learn your new vocabulary and then you can download the audio to your iPod all right so let me log in here just to show you guys something Okay, so this is where I left off before I had Japanese. And you can add lessons if you click here. Okay, I'm going to just go ahead and go to this first one to show you guys how it looks. Now, this is, like I said, this is a context. Okay, there are a lot of readings here. This is a Japanese reading. And this is how you play it you can loop it you listen to it over and over and over and over and over hmm. so that is really um, it's very very useful because because of the fact that it's a context and you get to listen to it over and over so this is pretty cool for Japanese because if there's a particular kanji you don't know you just scroll over it and it gives you the phrases they put it in. They show you some example sentences on how it's used. They have these different statuses. What's that? What happened to it? Okay. 
and then you just I think what you yeah you take out the vocabulary that you don't know and you put them in your I think that's how it go you put them in a list and you go back and study them so it's a pretty good um, pretty good program here so like I said I will post the um, the link in the description where you guys can go check it out uh, where he goes into more detail about it okay so that's link now let me close this okay so moving on to teach yourself other similar programs and grammar books now okay I would like to talk about teach yourself this is just my opinion but I believe that a student should build a foundation naturally in the targeted language before getting into grammar study taking this approach will cut out a lot of stress caused by complications by the uh, caused by the complications of certain grammar points given that this course explains a lot of grammar it would only make sense for a learner to go through this since he or she will have already built uh, built up a good foundation by this time so let me show you guys what teach yourself is about I've always been oops I've always been a big fan of teach yourself but lately I've I've realized that it's that it should be used later on instead of the beginning at the beginning stage of study now we want to look at this one this is just an example from Gaelic I think this is an older version so I just want to go through teach yourself and show you guys the setup so um, let's see introduction spelling pronunciation okay pronunciation okay so this is the first chapter okay so as you can see you have your dialogue Ooh, we love dialogues we don't want to go to chapter two yet where's the beginning of the dialogue let's get down too far okay let's see okay so here's the dialogue it starts down here and then you scroll up now I'm not a big fan of PDFs I prefer the book uh, the dialogue begins or it continues here and as you can see um, with with teach yourself they don't necessarily um, translate the whole dialogue for you what they do is provide you a box full of vocabulary from that dialogue and they translate it for you okay then as you get further you have explanation uh, key expressions very useful and then you have if you're if you're the type of person that like exercises fill in the blanks they have those for you here and then a grammar they go into some grammar addressing people word order and then you have your personal pronouns emphatic forms the verb to be a uh, as from out of so yeah like I like I said uh, here goes uh, here's further exercises yeah so teach yourself has a lot of grammar it, it has a lot of grammar explanation so this course uh, before I always recommended people to try this try this out but just um, lately I've been making some comparisons with other courses and whatnot and I, I've come to the conclusion that teach yourself should be used towards the end like when the, when the, when a student is becoming um, comfortable when a student has built up uh, a foundation in that particular language okay so teach yourself is very good very very good okay I'm not saying anything uh, to the contrary it's just a very good program it's just that you may want to wait until you get a foundation all right so that's teach yourself okay what's next here teach yourself all right now these other similar courses grammar books now the other courses I mentioned or the other course I'm talking about are um, spoken world colloquial series those type of courses are similar to teach yourself they have the dialogues and they have a um, section for 
um, vocabulary and grammar explanations so you can you won't you, you, you won't go wrong if you let's say um, choose to go with spoken world first or colloquial series all right because they they all have the same concept now one thing I, I guess I should mention is a colloquial series tends to have a lot of colloquialism so that's probably the only difference uh, in comparison to teach yourself but as I said before the the um, the concept is pretty much the same in terms of grammar and at that time when you start any of those courses you may want to get a grammar book okay that's probably the, the, the uh, will be a great time for you to begin your grammar study because all of these courses here um, focus on the grammar all right alright so the next one let's talk about let's see here so another course that could be used perhaps after teacher is FSI FSI if you're unfamiliar with FSI is basically a repetition based learning system I believe it's very effective but wouldn't wouldn't recommend a complete be beginner to start with this particular course especially if you're looking to engage in early relevant conversations with the native speaker so let's take a look at the spoken world so I have spoken world for Cantonese alright so this is lesson one as you can see let's see now you listen while I speak but don't repeat so all of these are drills okay let's see here what did they do, 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 do. okay cuz let's see you have a build up you have your build up student so they like break it down for you to understand each vocabulary used okay they're continuing to build So I, I remember when I first purchased the FSI course, I wasn't really a big fan of it. I didn't. I guess it's because of the it was because of the approach um, at the beginning stage. But now that I have some foundation, I can come to this and go through the repetition system, and you know, not really having to worry because I have experience with the language. So this is just basically all repetition, and of course, it comes with the audio. right so yeah going through this course I mean it's it's not a bad idea I mean if like I said if you have a foundation it will it will be pretty fun to go through or you'll be sweeping through um, a lot of vocabulary you may possibly learn some new vocabulary here so I will give it a shot after um, using the other programs all right so that's that. That's FSI. That is good old FSI. Now, let's recap here. Perhaps the biggest question here would be, is it really imperative to use such programs after FLR? Most certainly, if you are interested in furthering your vocabulary, by using other programs after FLR will certainly help the learner build not only more vocabulary, but also more constructions that you may have not seen in the FLR course before it's always good to go through other courses programs for extra practice I would consider doing this as a vocabulary suite okay so as we all know as everyone knows our main reason for learning a foreign language is for communication FLR is the start of such journey everything learned at the beginning is very relevant to real life real life conversations Moreover, its speed and naturalness without grammar study makes the process for the learner not only stress-free, but also very enjoyable. All right. So I hope I didn't miss anything. Um, let's see. I think that's it. So... Um,
Hmm. I feel like I'm missing something. I think I covered everything here. We talked about the teacher self. Uh, we talked about Pimsleur, Asimil Link, all of that, all of those useful programs. Okay. So again, teach yourself. It helps the learner to begin to understand what he or she has been using to put sentences together in previously used programs uh, due to many grammar explanations. However, given that the student will have uh, will have already built up a strong foundation in the targeted language by this time, working through Teach Yourself will be a very enjoyable, easy, and clean sweep. Okay. And then the Pimsleur is very easy to use and not only helps the learner to become accustomed to pronunciation, intonation, but also helps retaining information. All right. And then I see me a link. Likewise, FLR, these two approaches are very intuitive and natural. That helps an individual build massive vocabulary solely through enjoyable context. Then we had FSI. Following this course continues to help the student build more vocabulary through massive drills. So that's it for this presentation for the... Um, for those of you who are interested in learning a foreign language but have no idea where to start so I believe if you follow this order I think you 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 will become or I should say you will <laughs> I know you will become successful uh, in your language study because it's it's all about choosing the right programs okay so if if you have any questions let me know uh, otherwise thanks for viewing and I look forward to any video responses or questions you may have for me. Thanks for viewing.